In Singapore again, I wanted to know about Chloe's practice routine. So Chloe, how much do you practice every day, if I may ask that personal question? It actually depends on that day, because if I'm less free, I'll practice less. But if I'm free for the whole day, I'll practice like six, five to six hours. Okay, so yeah. you're a big practicer. <laughs> yeah, sort of. And so what do you do in a practice session? Um, I start off with the open string, like this. Okay. Yeah, and then after that, the double string. Oh, that's a good idea, because it's hard. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. And then after that, the finger exercise. Okay. Yeah. Then do the same thing, but it's separated. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then skills. Mm -hmm. Then I might do like etudes or mm -hmm. like caprices before I like get Paganini. it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Those wow. are very hard. Yeah. I saw you once on two set violin. <laughs> Tell me about what that was like. It was so fun actually because once they say cut. I'm just there laughing, you know? That's awesome. <laughs> it is. What did you do for them, like on their show? I did the Ling Ling workout. So basically, Ling Ling is like a um, fictional character that plays the violin perfectly with no mistakes at all, and it's 100% accurate, and everything is just there. OK, so what kind, of, what kind of exercises do they make you do? It's like invert the bow and play, like, for example, broke that movement. <laughs> Oh, it's really hard. It's, it yeah, feels wrong. Because the weight is like at the top. Right yeah. Now. Yeah. Okay, and then what else? And then the crazy one is invert the violin to this hand and the bow on that hand. So, so play the play backwards. Opposite, yeah. Okay, let's see if we can do that. Oh my god. That's totally ridiculous. What do you want to play? Twinkle. Twinkle? All right, start on A. Yeah. All right, ready? Wow, that's, uh, that's really, really awful. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's a pop quiz for you. Okay. So I know you're working on Mozart 3 because mm -hmm. you're recording it. Yeah. But you've also recorded Mozart 5, right? Yeah, last year. Okay, so I'm going to be the orchestra for okay. you, but I'm going to be terrible. Okay. Because <laughs> okay. what this is a test of is not whether you can play the Mozart violin concerto. It's a test of how well you know the orchestra mm -hmm. part. Yeah. So let, let's go. Uh, just start with Allegro Aperto. Bravo, you, you played nearly flawlessly, and I played in the wrong key, and I rushed and I dragged, so you passed. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs>